Hello everyone, this is Magbo Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be showing off a lost game from the Shantae series that is finally coming out from Limited Run Games. So this game was supposed to be released in the early 2000s for the Game Boy Advance, and this is called Shantae Advance Risky Revolution. So there are two options here, so let me go ahead and zoom this in a little bit so I can show you better. I think that's as far as it can go. Okay, so there is the standard edition right here that comes with a purple see-through cartridge. But if you want the collector's edition, you're going to get a gold cartridge here, apparently. So I'm just going to click right here and see where this takes me to. And as you can see here, this is what the box art looks like. And I am actually am going to pick this up within a week or two or so. Hopefully before this whole thing ends. Just waiting for a couple payments to come in first for me to get it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really... I'm hyped for this. As you probably know, I have a Shantae collection as you can see here. I believe I have most of the Shantae games physically and only like one or two digitally only. So you get the idea. Game Boy Advance, Risky Revolution. This is the sequel to the Game Boy Color version of Shantae, the original one. So let's see. As you can see, this is the purple cartridge and I'm definitely going to pick this up pretty soon. So I haven't been so sure about that. So you could pick it up from the 23rd of February which was a couple days ago from this video's recording all the way until April 7th so you got until April 7th to pre-order this game so you know you still got plenty of time and I'm definitely gonna do it sometime in March so I'm not that worried there so what does the game entail well these are some of the screenshots for these games right here and it looks like it's a lost game that we never got it was made very long ago, but they kind of scrapped it. They never released the game at all. I guess it was like not too much in demand and they had to cancel the project. But I guess limited run, thanks to you, we're finally going to get this game to the public. So I'm definitely hyped about this. I believe that there is a lot of stuff that were introduced in this game that later we saw that they're there. So I guess that's what we're going to know about too. And I was going to make an Arrow the Acrobat 2 video, but I decided, well, for now, I'm not really that connected with Arrow the Acrobat, but I was considering making it. But since I'm connected with Shantae, well, there it is. Let's see what this game is all about. I think there is a... Yeah, I could react to the trailer, I guess. So, it's a playable cartridge for the Game Boy Advance. This is an open pre-order for the limited time. We're gonna react to this a little bit. So, let's go along with it. Let's do this. I'm the creative director of Way Forward. I'm the director of the Shantae video game series. And that's what I do. <laughs> you want me to do that again? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so this is the... History development. So the story of how we went from Shantae Game Boy Color to Shantae Advance is Shantae was finished uh, but had not shipped yet. So we were already working on Shantae oh. for quite some time at this point. So uh, while they were trying to ship off the original game, which is extremely rare by the way, here is the surprise for it. You already know how I feel about this. They were working on the GBA game for quite a while before this game got released apparently. Shantae the original was very well reviewed. Um, sales were not good. So when we're taking the oh Game boy. Advance demo, sales were not good, of course. Long, we'd start taking that to places. We go, oh, here we go. And they go, how was the sales data for, how did, how did Shantae the original do? We go, oh, not, not well at all. Do you want the new game? So it was a tough market. It was really difficult and it was all retail uh -huh. driven. So there'll be too many creative compromises to wow. a tiny, tiny cartridge or Maybe a cartridge where you couldn't save your progress. We just really? Have less ambitious yeah, Shantae that would be suck. to be the game that we wanted to make. So um, for those reasons, we just shut it down and archived all the files and put it away. I'd it's a good thing they archive all the files all this time because little did they know later on, Limited Run was going to be born and eventually they were going to reach out to the developers of this game. And I said, let's bring back this project and let's finally release this game already. It's been more than 20 years since this game was in development. I'd like to finish that work. It seems weird that it was left undone and I think fans would like it. Could you just like release pieces of it on the internet or something? Never wanted to do it because I'm like, maybe someday hmm. we'll have a chance. Well, we got our chance now. So he kind of knew about this chance being a reality at some point. So that's very interesting, I must say. Like even after all this time, they knew that eventually they're going to have the chance. And they wanted to hold off all this stuff 
So it doesn't get leaked too much. Like, you know, Mother 3 already, we already know about that, but it wasn't ever officially released in the States, but it was English translation for a while. Risky's Revolution. Is Shantae Risky Revolution. Risky Boots has found this cavern underneath Sequin Land, and so she sets up this device that lets her rotate the, the land above and landlocked towns that she could never plunder or pillage. Yeah, um, that's kind of new. Like this whole, line, so this whole machine so that changes the, uh, the, you, the landscape a little bit. So you can shift the world around. It's like puzzle stuff. And you can ultimately foil Risky by using her machine against her. But in the meantime, wow. it's fun to slide the layer. Yeah, they had all Risky this blueprint for quite a while. A lot of the main cast meet in some cases for the first time. So we went straight into Shantae Risky's Revenge where everyone just somehow knows everybody. There's an entire missing chapter of their lives that was never touched on. Oh, so interesting. This game was the link cable support. Oh, wow. Hold on. Go back. One of the person has actually been playing it with the analog pocket. Now, that's very interesting. And I'm going to assume that every one of these Game Boy Advance SP or rather the AGS 101 or the backlit mods or something. For example, this was the AGS 001, I believe, the, that model. It wasn't the backlight one. It was the frontlight one. But then, you know, apparently this got modded. So, you know, it's just a little food for thought, like how far this retro gaming community has gone. For it. Which sounds funny today. It's fun. It's an experience you don't get anymore. You just need... Oh, yeah. It, it supports link cable, too. So if you still got link cables around and you want to play something new, go ahead. One copy of the game. It sends it out to three... Oh! Only one copy of the game is required. Awesome. So that means I just have to get my copy and I can actually play with other of my friends that may have a Game Boy Advance or so. I don't think most of my friends has it anymore, but if they do... Yeah, but if not, I have two of them. I think I could get around that. Empty devices. It's lighthearted and fun and really silly, and I think players will like it. I mean, to make a Game Boy Advance game in, like, this year is crazy. But I think it's a better yeah. version of the game than it would have been if it had come out in 2000 three or 2004. So, in other words, it was well worth the wait. And look how it's played on the analog pocket. You could tell modern retro gaming right there. There's no way this game was coming back without limited run. I mean, this is the only yeah, way that's that true. would ever get into players' hands. To play that's an true. actual final, you know, manufactured version in a box is going to be super cool. And so I can't wait for that. And now the pre-orders are up already. So you get the idea. The pre-orders are already up. Here is the synopsis of this whole thing. Shantae's adventure comes full circle in this long-lost sequel of the original Shantae game. Filling in the gap between Shantae 2002 and Risky's Revenge in 2010, Shantae's advance, Risky Revolution sees Shantae protecting Second Land from a twisted new plot orchestrated by her nemesis, the pirate Risky Boots. Using a secret subterranean device, Risky is able to rotate and arrange the continent. This is the whole theme of the whole game. You could switch over the landscape and the subterranean around like the world shift together. So you could rearrange the continent. Plunging into chaos and giving her more coastal cities to plunder. Fortunately, by harnessing this technology and the knowledge of the relic hunters, players will be able to turn the tables on Risky and giving Shantae new paths through environments and chance to thwart the villain scheme. So yeah, what you guys think about Shantae Advanced Risky Revolution? I'm definitely looking forward to this. This I could say without a shadow of a doubt, I am going to pre-order this game pretty soon. And will you be pre-ordering this game as well? This missing Shantae game? If you're a huge Shantae fan and you never got to experience this game, which definitely you haven't most likely because this game is not even out in the public yet. But who knows if somebody's gonna put a ROM in the internet before this game's released and you know, you could just mod it and all that stuff. But you know what? I like this cartridge here. This cartridge is very appealing to me. This box is pretty appealing to me as well and the manual and I'm like, I gotta get this whole thing. I got to get the whole physical package as a physical retro video game collector. So will you be picking up this game or will you be playing the ROM only? Let me know in the comment section below, but I strongly encourage you to actually pick up this game. If you do support Shantae, if you do support Limited Run, definitely pick this up as soon as you can. If you're a big Shantae fan or a big retro fan in general, I think you're going to enjoy this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it as well once it comes out. 
pretty sure that we won't get this game at 2 almost the end of this year. Because you know how long the limited run games holds up to with their pre-orders and all that stuff. April 7th will be the last day. And then after that, they're going to start manufacturing all the copies that were pre-ordered. So that's what I think that's going to happen. It's going to take a while. So yeah, looking forward for the future. And as you already know, whenever I get this game in my hands in the near future, I'm going to do an unboxing video of this. Just like I did with Triple DX and Himi's Quest. So that's what I have to say. Magbo Game says... I hope that you enjoy the hunt. Good luck with the hunt of the games that you're trying to look for. Play the games that you enjoy. And I'll see you all in the next one. Magbo Gaming out. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other related videos here as well. I also have a Discord server you can join for the video game collecting community and an Instagram you can follow as well. I even got some merch you may want to check out my T Public link below. Hope to see you again soon.